A spacecraft called Ulysses has just flown over the south and north poles of the sun for the third time since its launch in 1990. NJIT professor Louis Lanzarotti has been involved with this mission since its inception nearly 30 years ago. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. A joint project of NASA and the European Space Agency, Ulysses was built to measure radiation, charged particles, and magnetic fields in parts of our solar system where no other spacecraft has ever gone. If you picture the orbits of the planets laid out on a tabletop, Ulysses ventures both above and below that so-called ecliptic plane, helping to round out scientists' models of the sun and its wide-reaching influence. Well, the models are used to predict the effects of the sun on Earth and on the planets. Even though the Earth is in the ecliptic plane, things outside the ecliptic plane can affect the Earth. And so you have to have the right kind of model, three-dimensional model. You have to have the data in order to be able to, uh, to uh, quantify and to justify the models. Lou Lanzarotti studies the basic physics of the sun with an eye toward practical concerns such as the effects of solar flares and other space weather on communication satellites. He says Ulysses has revealed a number of things no one anticipated, including a million mile per hour polar wind. You're getting many more charged particles and, and these kinds of phenomena at high solar latitudes, which then can affect the Earth, and if not the Earth, other planets. And so we, those kinds of things were not, were not modeled at all until we had the data from Ulysses. Another discovery revised scientists' understanding of the way the sun's magnetic field flips from north-south to south-north over the relatively short course of a sunspot cycle. This change of the polarity of the magnetic field of the sun is really strange. It, it didn't change suddenly from north to south, which we thought before, but the solar pole rotated through the equator region of the sun to the opposite hemisphere. That was not known before. Recent problems with one of the spacecraft's transmitters haven't stopped the flow of data, but may, together with a weakening power system, signal the beginning of the end. There are no follow-ons planned for Ulysses, so this is really unique. The data and the understandings and the models from Ulysses will fill textbooks for the next many decades because there are no plans for the future. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Newark.